Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching, we're in statics and today we're going to do problem A25, okay? The uniform pole has a weight of 30 pounds and a length of 25, 26 feet. Determine the maximum distance D, it can be placed from the smooth wall and not sleep. The coefficient of static friction between the floor and the pole is 0 0.3, okay? So we have in here, we have this pole, it has some weight of 30 pounds. Now we're going to determine this distance d over here, the maximum distance without allowing the pole to move or fall in that direction, okay? So, what do you guys know about doing static problem? Well, we're going to do a free body diagram at the beginning. So, we're going to do a free body diagram. So, here we are. Now, our pole, it's kind of like a diagonal loop place like this now in here my pole is touching this wall okay so it will have a normal in this direction so we'll have what we're going to call normal so normal a point B then what else do I have well as I said before my pole will want to move in this direction therefore my friction will want to go in that direction always opposite to the direction of motion so this is our friction force right but what do we know about friction force well our friction force is fun what do i mean by fun well we have f equal to u multiplied by n so this is our fun equation and by u i mean means of u of s okay so what do we know about my friction at b well we know that this will be equal to 0 0.3 times the normal at a okay now Knowing that, we also know that we have our normal A in here. This is 0 0.3 of normal A then, our friction. We also know that we have some weight that is 30 pounds. So we're going to add that 30 pounds in here. And this is located at the middle of this pole, okay? So let's mark that out. So we know that from here all the way to here, this is 26 feet. But from here all the way to here, it's half of it, which should be, so let me move this here. There you go. This should be equal to 13, half of that. And the last piece of distance that we have, it's my distance D, which is from here to here, D and this is our goal what is this equal to all right so now that we have our free body diagram in here what we can do is summatory of forces summatory of moments and see what we can find okay so let's start with the summatory of forces in the x direction so we'll have summatory of forces in the x direction should be equal to zero assuming that going right is positive what do we have? Well, we have positive, the normal force at B. We got negative, the frictional force, which is 0 0.3 in A. And that's all I have in the extraction. Therefore, this is equal to zero. Now, I have two unknowns. I cannot solve for either one. So, I'm just going to state that MB is equal to 0 0.3 times NA. Okay? Then, what we can do is that we're going to do a summatory of forces in the y direction. Assuming that going up is positive, what do we have? Well, we got negative 30 pounds for my weight. Then I have positive Na. And all this should be equal to zero. So from here, we can say that Na is equal to 30 pounds. Now that we know Na, we can plug it in Nb. So we got that 0 0.3 times 30 will be equal to nine pounds so we got mb and a so wait a moment we already solved for these forces now all we have to find is this d and in we know that when we do a summatory of moments we have force times distance so we're going to apply that summatory of moments and see if we can find our distance okay so we got summatory of moments i'm going to apply it at a so I can cancel this one and this one out right away. This is my point A. Let's mark it out here. 
on my free body diagram this is a and let's mark that this part in here is b okay so we're good in there we're going to assume that going counterclockwise is positive and what do i have well we have nb that is going to be counterclockwise so if i'm holding here this force will want to rotate me like this clockwise i'm sorry so mb multiplied by what's the distance well the distance between this point and this point so this force goes like this right it will be the distance in here now that distance is the same as here so we're going to assume that we have an angle theta not assume we have an angle theta that we don't know and we're going to say that we have okay we got 26 is my hypotenuse multiplied by the no, that the sine of theta so we're good with that one then we have this 30 pounds that is going like this so the distance that we have is this distance in here so we have that this will rotate me counterclockwise in this direction so counterclockwise holding from A so we got a positive we got 30 pounds and what we have is that we have the hypotenuse which is 13 multiplied by the cosine of my angle theta and that's all I have this should be equal to 0 so now we know NB it's equal to 9 so what we're going to have is that we're going to have 9 times 26 will give me negative 234 sine of theta plus 30 times 13 will give me 390 cosine of theta should be equal to 0. So we got one unknown only so we can solve for this equation. Now this equation is really hard to solve by hand. So we're going to use the graphing method. I hope you guys have a graphing calculator. You're going to put in the y equals this equation, this entire equation, and you're going to find at what value your theta, uh, at what by the value of theta, this whole equation will be equal to zero. So I did this already, and we got that theta has to be equal to 59.04 degrees, okay? So knowing that theta is equal to 59.04 degrees, we know the hypotenuse and we know the angle theta. So let me go and redraw this over here. So we know that D is like this. So this is my hypotenuse, which is equal to 26 feet. We know our angle, which is 59.04. So let's just leave it as theta in here. And we want to know this angle D. So in order to know to do that, we're going to use the cosine of theta to be equal to my adjacent over my hypotenuse. If we solve for D, we'll have H cosine of theta. So D is equal to H, which is 26 feet, multiplied by cosine of 59.04 and d will be equal to what so we plug this into our calculator 26 multiplied by the cosine of 59.04 and we have an equal of 13.38 feet and this is our answer i hope you guys like the video please push the like button subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one